Did I do that? I don't remember what I did. Hello there, everybody. It's me, your Star Wars dad, and I'm here on my Star Wars dad free-to-play account. And as you know, well, like a week ago, whenever Conquest started this time around, I published a quick video about what you should spend your Conquest uh, credits on. And, you know, obviously if you're an end player game, you're just you're just farming all the characters. But if you're not, you know, you're a mid-player game like I am on my free-to-play account, um, you're a new hyper, wh what do you spend those credits on? You can take a look at that video up there, by the way. So... From our perspective, my perspective, I got a lot of comments in there, and my main feedback in that video was you really have to kind of make some assessments based on your roster, based on where you are, based on what you've been able to get, what you're looking at. You know, make some intelligent assessments, and I got some real good advice off of there. You know, right now, guys, right now, I have 120 shards of Darth Malgus. I'm a little over a third of the way there. I'm going to start farming Darth Malgus in Conquest. I, it's, it is, it's time to make it happen. Now, I'm going to end up having to finish him off eventually in Proving Grounds next April or May. So I'm like six months off I, from being able to farm some more. I'm probably nine months to a year from being able to get Darth Malgus. But, I mean, it seems crazy to say that, but just the fact that I continue to talk about how bad my Sith Empire team is, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get around to farming Sith Empire Trooper or Sith Marauder or leveling up HK to Relic. I just don't think those things are going to happen anytime soon. So I'm going to start farming Darth Malgus and Conquest. And if we, we go over, he's just, he is, he is so much of a difference maker. He is definitely the best player, the best character that's ever been put into Conquest. You know, Maul and Ahsoka are great. Uh, the Razor Crest is awesome. Ben Solo's good if you've got Ray, which I'm never, I'm probably never going to have Ray. But Malgus is a tremendous difference maker. Here he is in the Conquest shop. I'm going to go ahead and buy us. I'm probably only going to be able to get 20 to 25 this time, and maybe 20 or so next Conquest. And I'm not sure exactly when he cycles out. Maybe some of you guys know that exactly when he'll cycle out. I'm figuring I'll be halfway or a little more to halfway to Malgus by the time I finish up doing this. I wish... Well, I actually, I can't say I wish. I, I I really wouldn't have made any progress at all if I had been in previous conquests. So I got my my Malgus shards were gained. The ones that I have already, 125, 120, were gained from normal conquest. I unlocked those through, you know, two or three cycles of normal conquest. Got those Malgus shards. I wasn't really spending the energy on much. I think I did purchase some some equipment or some single data or something. So I might have made a little more headway, but being in normal Conquest, you really can't give these characters. Now that I'm playing hard Conquest, I have a lot more access. Well, and maybe not a lot more access. I can access him there in that first Jawa scavenger, uh, and he disappears after that, right? And then it's only Ben Solo and the Scythe, which I have no interest in getting. But, oh, I lied! There he is, Darth Malgus. I guess I was thinking he'd be disappearing, but he's not. So we will see how many shards I can get of Darth Malgus. I, I didn't scroll down before, but... You know, Newt's too lazy. I don't know. Um, but here, I, I, I pulled up some footage. We'll just let this play in the background. This is a 3v3 Malgus footage. I pulled it off of... Uh, I'll, I'll put the, the the link to the channel. He's, it's it's not a channel. So he's just got 10 subscribers. Just, he just kind of threw it out there. This is a 3v3 against Jedi Master Luke. Had a small Datacron on it. Just a level 3 Datacron. It didn't show what it did. But honestly, I don't care what Datacrons I put on my team right now. I'm not beating Jedi Master Luke. I guess if I have the, uh, if I had the Darth Vader... You know, constantly just doing dots. I, I could, but I've tried. I've refreshed that like nine times, and I can't hit that. So it doesn't. I'm gonna stop trying now. We're a month away from the thing going away. So anyway, so I'm gonna be farming Darth Malgus in the Conquest shop, in the Scavenger shops. I'm gonna be farming Darth Malgus everywhere I can get him. In, am I? Am I? I don't think I'm to the Scavenger shop yet here in Sector Three. So I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go to the wall here in Conquest and do as best, the best I possibly can in all these nodes. To get those Malgus things charged open, to get as much currency, as many credits as I can get. So, that's it. That's really my announcement. I'm looking for a way to round up my Sith Empire team eventually. It's going to be tough for me as I move toward Executor and Jedi Master Kenobi. I've even got to level up. I've even got to level up um, my Geonosians there. And actually, I, I might not have been showing you guys. I might have had this footage running while I was looking up those, those Malgus shards. So, I'll show you where they are again here in a second. <laughs> Sorry about that. Did I do that? I don't remember what I did. Anyway, so it looks like I can buy... Uh, hang on. There he is. There he's He's dead. They took care of Jedi Master Luke Skywalker. I've got it on Luke. How many times did I loop that? 
Well, anyway, well, let's let's move forward. Hopefully, I didn't loop it twice. Whatever, he gets to see it twice. But he's in the Jawa scavenger shop, shop so I can purchase these Darth Malgus shards every time I get to 475. I'm going to be purchasing them every chance I get, doing the best I can in Conquest, just trying to bang these things out, get these feats done. It is not super... I can't, I can't get the red crate right now. I just can't. You know, I, I can't do stuff like Inquisitorious units. I don't have it. And there's so much Inquisitorious in this. Um, I can't do, I can't do a lot of the main feats in this. Um, the event feats. I'll be able to kill 400, 500 enemies, but I can do a squad full of Jedi. But Princess Leia, Jedi Master Kenobi, that's not going to happen. Inquisitors isn't going to happen. So I'm only going to be able to do two of these. So I'm pretty limited. I'm going to do the best I can. I'm going to farm Darth Malgus. Let me know what you're farming on Conquest. So maybe we can do this together. But hopefully on my free to play account here, if you look at my roster right now, you know, Malgus is going to add a whole other tier for me in Grand Arena when I get him unlocked. And yeah, it's going to take a minute, but you never know. You never know when you get some free drops here. We had some Commander Ahsoka free drops. We had some... Uh, some Razor Crest free drops. I don't remember what the cadence was on those. I think it was after a year, which I think is I think is April or May from it. Anyway, I'm farming Darth Malgus. That's the long and short of it, guys. I'll see you back here in a couple weeks for my uh, for my uh, almost my 23 month update. We're almost to two years in this account, and I'm hoping to be farming Executor in the next month or two. So that's what we got, guys. I am farming Darth Malgus. Let me know what you're doing with your conquest conquest currency, and always remember. Nooch to good.